Hey guys, my name is Jessica and we're going to try this again for the second time. Uh, I did this last night and unfortunately, um, for some reason, I don't know if it's because my, my iPod decided it was time to say, hey, you have 20% left or what was going on. But it's still processing on YouTube. It was over an hour long. It shouldn't have taken that long. Anyways, so we're going to try it again. I've got the iPod hooked up to a different uh, outlet. Hopefully that works. Hey, Kat, your breakfast is in here because I figured you were going to want to eat in here. So this is my second time making candles. I did one last night called Grapefruit and Mangosteen, which... I had to look up mangosteen. I didn't know what it was. Turns out it is a purplish fruit that comes from Indonesia. Hey man. Alright, so I'm just getting those ready. Why am I doing that when I can do that when this is... Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mama. You're welcome. No. Yeah, it's not. Wow, I completely left the wax over there. Okay. Hey, Catherine. Mm -hmm. Should we do Egyptian amber? Very vanilla. Meadow or lavender today? Egyptian. Mm. The amber? Mm. All right, we're doing Egyptian uh, amber. So I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope this works this time. I had done the unboxing last night of this. Um, we are using ECO 6 inch 12, ECO 12 6 inch wicks is what came with my little candle kit from Candle Science which is a local company here in North Carolina. So that's why I was kind of hell-bent on going with them. My dream is to possibly make this into a career because I can do it at the house. I don't have to leave. I would love to be able to do this as a career. I mean, I did this last night, and it was super fun. Granted that um, it was dark-ish in here, so a cup, one candle, which is going to be my tester, didn't exactly come up even. Um, finished candle. That will not be fully cured until probably 9 or 10 o'clock tonight. So we're just waiting on this wax to, to, to melt. Um, I do have two kids, one of them which you can see and you might, or well you might see and you can't hear. Her name is Cat. 
So if I start doing a lot of videos, you'll be seeing a lot of her in them. And probably be seeing the baby in it too. Hey, wick stickums once you put them down, you can't pick them back up. That's alright, I'm still in the circle. So we're good. Um It came with four pounds of wax and it had um, three bags, five count each of the wicks. We got the instructions. I'm not reading them again. Um, what is this? Wick bars. So I'll hang on to that, that way I've got somewhere to put them. Your morning labels. My candy thermometer. And we have the four pounds of wax, the pour pot, um, 12 candle tins. Now where I got this off of their website, I was allowed to get a sample of their um, one of their scents, and I got Meadow, which smells really good. The grapefruit and mango steam was pretty good. The vanilla was too much, too much vanilla. I don't really like vanilla, but in the Christmas tree, mm -hmm. not really good either. But, if you want to make a career out of this, you got to do what people like, even if you don't like it. So that's the plan. Um, we're doing Egyptian Amber today. Catherine picked it out. It is good for both candles and bath and body products. The flash point for this is 212 degrees. Now I have to get my wax to 185 and then cool it down to 135. So there's not going to be any worry about this, you know, um, blowing up in my face. <laughs> Which would not be good. I think my doctor would, would hang me upside down by, on my toes if I did that. So, I don't have any labels, so I'm just using leftover stickers from Christmas. I like leftover stickers from Christmas. But if I do make this into a business, what I'll end up doing is buying like Avery labels or something like that and doing it that way. Just waiting on the wax to uh, melt. So, what kind of scents do you guys like? Do you guys like floral scents? I mean, um, what do you guys like?
I know people are probably flipping out. Oh my god, look how close her arm is. But don't worry, I'm fine. Not in any danger at all. So yeah, do you guys like um, wax melts? Like those little wax tarts you can put in uh, those melters? Do you like reed diffusers? What do you guys like? What scents, colors? They did not send me any colors with this kit, so I cannot color anything. My husband was like, well, you would have gotten a good pour if you had color. It's kind of hard to do that when I don't have any. Sometimes these work. Yes, sometimes they do work. Do you want a bottle of water with watermelon squirts? Mm, no. How about you get your milk out of the fridge and finish that off? I might. My How about you get your milk water. and finish it off, please? Okay. Thank you. <coughs> Come again. <coughs> Dropping stuff. You gonna hang out in here with me or are you gonna go off and do your thing? I thought I don't let you. Oh yeah, hang out with me. <coughs> Just in the morning? Mm -hmm. Well, after this video, hopefully, we'll my iPod will be nice and I will do the other two steps. Because <coughs> I'm definitely doing the meadow, so I guess we'll do the lavender and meadow next. Lavender and meadow next? Mm hmm. Don't get it. Smell good? Mm. It definitely has an amber type scent to it. Um, I'm not sure. It could have a little bit of sandalwood in there. I don't know. But it definitely does smell good. But yeah, Candle Science, awesome people. Really nice from the few experiences I've had with them so far. I ordered my kit on the, well on Christmas morning actually, and they, they created the shipping tag either the 27th or the 28th and I got it yesterday. So, um, if I end up making this into a career, if it turns out it's really good and my candles come out well, I mean, obviously this is going to be a trial and error type thing. I'm not going to get this overnight. Maybe. Um, but I would start out on Etsy and then after, you know, I get fairly good, I'll probably open my own website and make them from home. What, Catherine? Like your candles you. in every way, with every scent. No, so, so far they look pretty good over there. Um, this time where it's daylight and you can actually see what's going on, um, I might be able to pour them better. Because I ended up having more in my last candle than I did the other two. See how that one's got a little bit of uh, 
discoloration right there. But I hear you can fix that with a hair dryer. I know which one will I get in. That one came out really good. I'm in the red. Or green. And that one came out really good as well. So it's just this one that um, did not do well. I suppose where they're cured, well, somewhat cured, I could probably cut them and put them <coughs> away. If I get three stripes, I get totally awesome. Not easy to cut. Are you okay? Yeah. All right. Stepmom's getting that one. Apparently I blew up some, some marks. Here's the wood bars. I got some. This one after it fully cures. I'll see if I can't show it to you. So I cut it. I see it a little bit. I'll take a blow dryer to that. What's a blow dryer? What? I'll take that one. What? I can have this one. There we have it. Put these in my cabinet for curing. So far the cold throw is really nice on these. just old grooming shears that I used to have when I was a groomer.
weird because you had to, uh, <coughs> yeah, I did it this way. Hold it like, hold the scissors like this, and this has nothing to do with candles. But you hold the scissors like this, you have to lift your thumb. Normally, when we cut, we use our whole hand, but when you're grooming, you use your thumb only. Anyways. stuff this morning I noticed I used um, rubbing alcohol which I had at the house um, I'll probably have to get denatured alcohol um, but I need to put the important part and then putting the, the warning labels uh, on what was I even talking about uh, 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 I don't even remember oh cleaning because I really suck at bowling well, you need to practice only in the real bowling alley I do not suck. So here's your warning label. Nothing special to it. Um, even after I finished cleaning out my pour pot, I still smelt uh, the grapefruit. So after I made sure all the wax was off of my pour pot. I went and um, and washed it with just regular dish soap. No, I mean these are not perfect. My family is testing them for me, so. You got a what? A egg. Oh. Well, you said you got an F. I'm like, well, if you got an F, that means you got a foul in bowling. I'm playing the dragon game. So I definitely want to experiment with this stuff. Um, You know, it's even. Okay. The candle's gonna get hot to begin with, so it shouldn't really matter whether you put these on before or after. Um, that just makes things a little bit easier. One less step I don't have to worry about doing, and have to worry that um, I'll forget to do it. Because obviously I almost forgot to do it. I apologize. I don't know if you can 
Yeah, I'm still pretty red and broke out. <clears throat> I got my eyebrows done yesterday. And it's been over a year. So my face isn't handling it quite as well as it used to. Alright. So supposedly we're supposed to have some thunderstorms today. Look, I got a big dragon. Nice. And that's the hardest dragon. I can't do that one. It just does that. I got a matchup with the, the things I have. Like, blue. It'll do that. Alright, so these guys are seeing me running back and forth. Over there. Over there is a china cabinet that I got when my mom died. Um, she was in China? Mom never went to China. And she passed away, Captain. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's check how hot this is. Some leftover wax we're just trying to get to melt. <gasps> I did it! See, Mama? Melt it up real quick because I know that's pointless because I'm getting ready to have to uh, use it again anyway. So my wax has to get to 185 degrees. When that happens, um, they recommend that you sit there and put your containers together, except for the mm -hmm. what warning you know tags. Press the dragon's arm. Um. <coughs> so one pound of wax equals one ounce of uh, your fragrance or your scent. Um. Once it reaches 185, pour the scent in and then remove your pitcher from the heat. That's why I have my trivet here. And then I stirred my scent for four minutes. It says two minutes, but heck, why not do four? You know? 
Um, then you have to let it cool down to 135. Once that's done, you pour it, you put the wick bar, and you remove the wick after uh, it's cured. 20. What do I it takes 24 hours to cure your nice. 24 hours before you're able to fully, you know, use your candle. Um, I've got a busy weekend coming up around the house, so I probably won't be able to test this until Tuesday of next week. Um, sucks, but that's why I'm trying to get all these done today. Um, whenever I have the money to, I may invest in a, um, a digital one, so I know exactly what it is, you know. Um, so far, this is awesome. I'm having so much fun with this, it's super easy, I let my, my brain override itself and freaking out and it goes gonna be harder than it was. It really isn't. It's easy. It's fun. I want to experiment. I want to try adding, you know, um, really fine glitter to it or try to make swirls only using soy wax. I mean, there's... I've never seen anyone Put out a video who had never done it before. Last night that's what I tried to do and it didn't work out well. Today I'm hoping that won't be the case. Because after we get done here I'm going to um, let them cure. I will do a little update video while I'm cleaning these things out um, and waiting for this to upload on my computer and hopefully work and then I will make the next one which is probably going to be lavender they only gave us four pounds they I wish they would have given us five because they give us that extra um, that freebie, but I guess that's to get you to buy more wax, which I'm planning on doing anyways. Um, but for now, how many, how many did you make? So far, only oh. three. Uh oh. Sounds like a tablet's dying over there. I'm just gonna take one more battle. On the dragons, and then I'll. So it I'll looks pick. like we're about at 185. Oh my gosh! Uh, excuse you. Look! Got three of the same. You do not got three. I have the same three. World's coming to an end, guys. Alright, so here's our fragrance. Let me get four minutes ready. Turn the heat off. So now we stir. They recommend two minutes, I'm doing four. The reason why they want you to stir it gently for two minutes is to incorporate the scent into your wax.
Now, of course, I am going to have to get a scale because I don't think they come in one pound batches for, you know, the five and ten pound box of uh, wax. And I'll probably get a large pour pot. That way, if I need to make more, you know, like a two pound batch, make six candles, that I can. So this just barely fits one pound of wax, dry, flake wax. Um, and it's about halfway, f not even halfway full, um, melted. So it still smells really good. So yeah, definitely uh, leave a comment and um, like and subscribe. Um, I made a YouTube channel that may or may have to be shut down. I don't know if when it becomes a business. Right now it's called Silver Leaf Candles. And I have the same Silver Leaf Candles at yahoo.com for an email. And I did do a registry check in my area. I believe it was my area. It might have been everywhere. Um, but I did not see anything that had silver leaf, one word, candles. So that's why I went ahead and did that. So this spoon is never going to be used for cooking again. The spoon in this pot will never be used for cooking again. It will go into my little china cabinet over there. Um, because even though it's clean, I don't want to contaminate anything or risk contaminating anything. So. Now we have to wait for it to cool down to 135 degrees. So I would have cleaned this stuff off last night. Um, check to see if it still had the amber on it. But unfortunately, the baby was asleep. And I didn't want to wake him up. 
so I couldn't get the alcohol. so good my second time making candles I love 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 it um it is already starting to really cool down let's get the um so yeah I'm not speed throwing the cool down process because like I said in the first video, I want you to guys to see all of it. From putting the wax in to melting, you know, the whole nine yards. And I'm, I'm sorry about that light. So I'm trying to keep my head over here. Um, I've got these lights on just to provide a little extra light over here. Same over there. Instructions out of the way. Okay. So yeah, overall, I love it. Um, the kit was a little over eighty dollars, I believe. After. Um, shipping and handling is 64 something beforehand and you got 12 containers you had four scents grapefruit and mango steam Egyptian amber very vanilla which is like punchy in the face vanilla lavender and then I picked meadow as my free one I'm not a huge vanilla fan so I'm gonna do the lavender and the vanilla net, or the lavender and the meadow. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna set up my other cans because I want to, you know, do it with you guys. So it is cooling down on us, um, 100 and, under 150 Fahrenheit. <coughs> I know when I was looking for research on candles, like YouTube videos and stuff, I didn't find a whole lot. Um, I know it's a repetitive process to melt the, melt the wax, you know, the whole nine yards, but it is still neat to see the process. I mean, you know, so I'm going to try to do that with all my candles that I make. Soy. Why did I choose soy? Someone may ask. Soy is a renewable resource from some soybeans um, so that's you know good for the environment it doesn't it's, it doesn't smoke as much from what I understand as paraffin does I've never used beeswax or any of vegetable oil like stuff that I know of but all the candles I've ever bought have a bad habit of smoking at some point if I don't keep the wicks turned down. So, oh, mango stain and grapefruit does not work well with sweet pea. It smelled like somebody died in my bedroom last night. The scents did not work well. You sit in there. The bedroom? Mm hmm The two scents mixed together and it smelt like a week old diaper full of pee. Ew, sirs. Oh 
house yesterday it was obvious it wasn't used to being out and about because it kept like limping in the grass and pine strokes it wasn't used to it I'll bring you along for you know the whole thing from melt to packaging um, or at least that's the plan anyways at some point I would like to look into reed diffusers wax melts stuff like that um, but I'm, I'm new to this this is all kind of Very exciting. I had actually listened to a local DJ um, talk about how he wanted to make candles and how he made the wooden tops for the candles. He's a real hands-on type guy, country boy. And I was like, how the heck are you going to make a candle that smells like leather and whiskey? Come to find out, they do make those scents. So, Yeah. And I guess that's where it came from because I hadn't thought about it and then weeks later all of a sudden I wanted to make a candle. Here we are. Making candles at the end of 2015. Hey. Hey, what? Pillar candles? Pillow candles. Pillow candles. I'm sure one could make a pillow candle if they wanted to. I don't know how, but... But yeah, I, I started out watching, um... I found Eden's secret. She does candles, but she's mostly soap. Um, Divinely Design. His name is Kevin Divine. He does mostly soap. Um, he tried candles, but it wasn't his thing. And then A and N Suds and Such LLC and Be Scented Jen. Um, she makes candles and bath and body products. Similar to, you know, bath bombs, body sprays, lotions. She makes her own laundry detergent. That whole idea scares the hell out of me because you're working with Lion where I have two little ones. I don't really have anywhere to store stuff like that. So, we're getting there slowly. I think we're at 140. I'm not sure. That's why I want to get a um, thermometer that's digital. someday. But I will have to get a scale. Um, that way I can measure out wax. So if any of you have any recommendations on a good scale that's not expensive but works efficiently, please by all means share that.
See, I don't want to put the fragrance in, or I don't want to put fragrance, I don't want to put the, pour the candles too soon because I don't want them to end up, um, having it be too hot. So these are 8 ounce containers, but they do hold 6 ounces of wax. So I don't know what to talk about. Kids are on school vacation right now. Winter sucks because it's been warm, hot, slash rainy all winter instead of nice. Like it's supposed to be. We have not seen one bit of snow, no ice, nothing. You kind of need snow in order to do that, though. And I like to do that. Yep. So even though this is like a the pea yellow wax melted down, it uh, comes up white, which I thought was kind of interesting. So yeah, what I'm gonna, well, I have so many plans. I want to test out every fragrance I can get my hands on, of course, so I'll hold on to them. Um, onto the candles, that way I can build up a stock. See what people like, what they don't like. Right now, um, there's going to be one of each scent going to my mom, stepmom and my sister. That will also allow me to figure out how to learn how to ship stuff because I've never shipped something like this before. And then one's going to be a tester for me so I can test it to see how well it does. So what I'll do is I'll deliver the four to my stepmom and then send the others to my sister. And I want to develop my own scent. Um, have no clue what it'll be. <laughs> so we're right at the 50 mark on the Celsius side of things, I believe. Yeah, Celsius. Celsius. So we're getting 
there slowly but surely we're getting there this has been really fun I like this a lot I would definitely do this as a job definitely Now, if there's a scent that someone might want that Candle Science does not sell, I'll have to go to a different company, which is not a problem. Um, so, but most of my stuff is going to come from them. Like if I decide to do reed diffusers and stuff like that, they don't do that right now. in the essence of time with this one I like I said I'm gonna keep it going normal but the others I may speed through the wax melt and the cool down period I don't know but um, later on I'll have more things that I can do while I'm waiting for this so Covering over it is not going to get it to cool down any faster either. So right now it's just raining really hard. Well, off and on outside. Which kind of sucks. Can't do anything out there. I have a friend Drackers from a game I play online, that's his name, and he was telling me that for my first time making them I should probably wait to do the video. I've done plenty of Sims stuff online, you know, Let's Plays, over on Adra Bloodstone, so. I just recently found a copyrighted um, song on one of my videos over there, so I'll have to make sure to mute all music from my videos from now on, unfortunately. Oh, we're getting there. Very slowly. Very slowly. See, once I make, you know, get better at this and I'm sending to people, I'll be doing other things like packing, labeling, and stuff like that. Um, the one thing I like about Candle Science is if I have an order over $100, instead of having to pay for shipping, just pay for the order and then I can drive to Durham to go pick it up myself, which I thought was awesome. So anyone that has experience in the candle business that lives in North Carolina, please feel free to um, just 
give me any advice that you have, even those that are not within my state. Please feel free to give some advice by doing something wrong. Um, you know, what do I need to look out for? That sort of thing. So once this is done, I will clean everything off while this is uh, syncing up to my computer. Even in this vi in this uh, paperwork they sent, they even show using a metal spoon. The reason why you want to stay away from plastic and wood is it can soak up your scent. So you lose your scent in your uh, in your utensil. That's not good. safe to go ahead and pour. Yeah, it's a lot easier to see it today than it was last night. Alright guys, I'm going to move this back and help her with that. guys I hope you have enjoyed this video hopefully this will upload um, so we will see you in the next video in a few minutes so don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you very much for watching